The use of medicinal herbs and plants has long since been part of the history of Africa, with the Ebers Papyrus being one of the oldest surviving medical texts. Herbal medicines were traded between India and the Middle East, which had a wide influence in the north of Africa. In many areas of Africa, herbal remedies and medicines have remained unchanged for centuries, with the Berber culture believing that the jinn or bad spirits are responsible for ill health. Although parts of Africa are limited in growth of medicinal plants due to the harsh climate, many still use the indigenous herbs. However, the arrival of Western modern medicine now has a strong influence on this. In rural areas of Africa, where hospitals and healthcare are not available, traditional herbalists and spiritualists remain the only source of treatment for a large part of the population. In other areas, traditional medicine and modern medicine are working together. This is a positive step, since in previous times, traditional medicine was seen as something to be suppressed, with traditional herbalists being viewed as witch doctors. Some of the herbs, plants and trees are used for medicines, whilst others are used for religious ceremonies, with the root, bark, seeds, fruit, leaves, and indeed every part of the tree being used. Many of these remarkable remedies from ancient African wisdom are now being used and prescribed in other parts of the world. This proves that traditional African medicine has now not only been accepted, but also has firmly found its place in society as it works side by side with conventional medicine for mutual benefits and gains for all.